Hey, hello there. Uh, so today is the final day for the May Lee Coding Challenge question. Today is the, uh, today's question is added distance. Uh, we have two words, word 1 and word 2. We need to find the minimum number of operations required to convert word 1 to word 2. There are three operations permitted, insert, delete, and replace of a character in word 1. Um, yeah, so the example is horse to rolls. Uh, we have five character here and three character for the second word. There's definitely two deletions that's uh, needed uh, in, in the most uh, ideal situation. So we delete S, uh, we delete R and E. So the whole thing become H O S, and we do one final replacement, change H to R, and that becomes the rolls. Note that, that uh, the order that I'm describing is uh, some arbitrary. We change the middle and then do the find uh, do the leftmost. But here, the explanation here uh, is uh, doing that in the uh, left to right kind of order. The second example, it's um, um, it's a little, a little bit more complicated. We have a re remove, replacement, and insertion, uh, and the order that these things are happening is a little bit uh, arbitrary, uh, like the one that I described early on. It has the deletion. Uh, uh, replacement and uh, replacement insertion um, that seems to uh, you know not following the left to right kind of order but uh, uh, from this and my example you can see that uh, um, we, we can solve this by from left hand side to right hand side and uh, when we look at the, the uh, you know some portion of the smaller kind of a problem from the right hand side uh, we can just depends on the optimal from the left hand side uh, so that's uh, that's kind of the intuition that we have. So let's just relax this a little bit. Uh, instead of solving this uh, specific question, we want to have a more generalized uh, kind of a form a formularic functionality. Let's say we have a, a function called fij. Uh, we are looking at the kind of a top-down kind of approach now. Um, this will be the minimum uh, edited distance between word one from zero to i. Uh, zero being in included and i being excluded, um, but in total there are i elements there. So that's uh, the uh, that's the definition for this uh, function. It will be able to return this. So to solve this problem, what we need to do is just to return uh, the length of these two words as the argument. So now, uh, what we need to figure out uh, is uh, how we're actually going to populate uh, the uh, all the possible of uh, FIJ uh, function call values. So if we look at a particular example, uh, 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 FIJ. So think about the string there. Um, we have a uh, word one uh, with the tail being the eyes uh, uh, character from the word. You know. The, we're talking about characters then it's uh, from one to i um, then we have a couple of options necessary options we can do if we choose to delete this very last character from word one uh, that means um, the match the minimum at the distance between the first word uh, for, uh, between the first word from the beginning to uh, excluding the last character and the, the whole of uh, second word we're looking at um, can potentially uh, just be uh, now our minimum edit distance plus one of the deletions that uh, we are currently considering about. So that means um, i minus one with the last one be deleted, and the whole of uh, second uh, uh, word from zero to j is potentially now our uh, best bet. So uh, just plus one of the deletion. Or, or there can be the other case that is to consider uh, do an insertion to the first word because that uh, uh, for the first word entirely and the second word excluding the last character the potential minimum at the distance between these two can be quite small so we won't get that uh, but since the very last character from the second word uh, uh, is uh, still have to be taken care of uh, and we have run out of uh, all the characters for the first uh, string. 
then the thing that we can do is to do uh, insertion to the first string to match that uh, dangling character from the second uh, word. Um, so I'm just going to call this here. You, you know that uh, we're talking about the last. Or it depends on the uh, whether these two last characters, uh, tail characters from both words, are the same or not. If they're the same, um, that's a free uh, zero distance in there. Then we can potentially just grab the minimum added distance for uh, between the two strings with the last element uh, excluded. Uh, so that would be i minus one, j minus one. Um, if uh, uh, tail are the same. The other options is to uh, just do one replacement. So these are the four uh, potentials that uh, uh, we want to consider at any given ij kind of a state. Uh, we look at uh, um, either have the first string to be smaller, uh, one smaller, or the second string to be one smaller, or have both to be one smaller, and uh, just considering how we handle the, uh, you know, remaining remaining characters, we uh, how we de deal with those. If they are the same, we don't need to do anything. Uh, you know, if we have two to worry about, they are the same. We don't need to worry about those. Uh, if uh, they're different, we do one replacement. Uh, so if we choose to uh, have the first string to uh, to be shorter, then the extra will have to do deletion. If we choose to have the second string to be shorter, uh, exclude one, then we have to do an insertion to the first one to match that. So there are four potential possibilities to consider about. And whichever is the is going to give us the minimum, we're going to take that. Uh, so that's the recursive relationship, basically the transition function. Um, And notice that uh, the here uh, we are looking at the, the ij index values. There we are only considering the subtract by one case. So uh, effectively, we can reduce this from uh, uh, the full i multiplied by j kind of uh, uh, state to table. I make a programming table table to be only the two rows. Uh, I think with some tricks you can uh, only maintain one, uh, but. Um, Two, two rows alternating is uh, a little bit easy to code up, so I'm going to uh, go that route. Uh, so the, the goal is to just to, to reduce the space complexity to a single row instead of uh, the full table. Um, and the base case we also need to take care of as well. So the base case is just uh, one of the string is totally empty. Uh, then for the other string, you know, if the first string is empty, the second string is uh, how many arbitrary characters are there, we have to do uh, uh, the corresponding number of insertions to match that. If the first string is uh, a certain length and the second string is empty, then we have to do the you know corresponding number of deletions to match uh, to transform the first one into the second one. So it's, uh, uh, it, it's going to be uh, you know, either i or j is zero, then the cell value for the table there is going to be the um, length of characters uh, for the non-empty string. Uh, so I'm just going to use this here. Uh, so, uh, so this is uh, pretty much the. Uh, Analysis about uh, how we uh, derive this uh, recursive relationship. Uh, if we do top down, we can do a memorization, uh, or if we do bottom up, uh, then we're gonna populate uh, the uh, fixed i and just populate all the j values for a given i, then work on i plus one. So row by row kind of uh, orientation, we populate all those, and in the end, we return the last value from the last row. So that's going to be in our answer to, to this question. Uh, it's going to be th this, lens of word one and lens of word two. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, code this. Um, so yeah, so the base case is that uh, uh, we're looking at uh, row being zero. So uh, the column values, uh, each column's value are just going to be the 
a number of characters in the uh, second world that we are considering. So it's going to be um, from zero to length of this plus one. So I'm going to just grab uh, the number of rows and number of columns here. actually wanted this to be plus one, right? Um, yes, so, so if I put J there, uh, it will actually be... Yeah, so we wanted actually to include uh, the length of this, so I'm doing plus one, uh, because range is... Uh, 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 sorry. It's from zero to that, so the, the length of word two value will be excluded if I do not uh, do plus one there. Uh, so for row and uh, the very last character uh, from from word one, uh, for each row, I'm just going to initialize a, a new row here. Where the first column is going to be the case where the j is zero, so we take the i value as the value uh, here. So it's going to be rho plus uh, zero multiplied by uh, duplicate this zero by n two times because the one we already take care by uh, by this uh, initial base case there. Um, yeah, so then it's just uh, this transitional function then. Um, so we are looking at uh, column by column. It's just going to be the minimum between three or four four things. Um, so when we look at uh, i minus one, that's uh, the previous row, Sam Colin. Uh, it will be the previous row, that's dp, Sam Colin, c, plus one. And then the second item here is uh, uh, Sam row, previous column. So that's this, c minus one, plus one. Lastly is uh, this previous row, previous column, plus one if uh, tail are not the same. Uh, otherwise, it would just be that value. So it's uh, NDP, oh, sorry, previous row uh, and previous column plus integer, convert, convert this Boolean into integer, Boolean test into integer. So if they are not the same, we need to do one replacement so that, uh, that this will convert that into one to plus on that. If they are the same, then this will be zero. So uh, that, that this will cover this two situation here. Uh, for uh, after this row is uh, processed, uh, we uh, we change that into the current row, then um, keep on to processing on the next row. So in the end, we just return the real last uh, element. So it will be the code. Let's see if it works. Uh, does it work? We are returning zero. Hmm. Ah, I know. So I should enumerate this uh, from from one. So uh, the first row is already being initialized. Uh, we are not dealing with the first row. We start uh, this uh, with the first uh, with the row index not zero, not uh, one, not zero. And for column, it's the same. Uh, the first the column are already being taken care of here, so it's uh, it should be this. Uh, yep. So let's see. So it, it's working. So the total uh, time complexity it's uh, pretty obvious. We populate every possible value for this function f i j, uh, so that uh, the time is uh, how many ever uh, the total number for i's, you know, the length of the word one and uh, the length of the word two, they multiply together. So it's uh, n multiplied by n. And for space, uh, here I'm only storing uh, two rows. Each row has uh, n two length of a word two number of columns. And so obviously there is uh, something we can do is to uh, swap the word two to be make sure that word two is always going to be the smaller one. Uh, and so that uh, the number of columns we need to store there are actually smaller, but the time, but the time complexity doesn't change. The only thing that changes is to have the space complexity to be a little bit small. And I know that uh, 
there are ways to not have this, uh, but uh, directly updating the DB, maybe have some kind of temporary uh, value to store, uh, you know, to keep track of this, uh, you know, when you have to get the previous row, previous column kind of thing, uh, just to have uh, a temporary variable to hold that and just directly updating that. Uh, but I guess that could be a little bit error prone. Um, here, this is uh, hard to make errors. So uh, I like this a uh, little bit better. Uh, at least this for me, uh, it's a little bit easy to um, to code, not, not make mistakes. So yeah, so that's the discussion today. Um, cool.